All right, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Jay, aka the Murder Woods. As you can see, my co-pilot is here with me. Um, today we're watching Back to the Future Three. Not gonna lie, I'm a little excited to watch this. At first, I was sad because I'm not gonna lie to you. I didn't think there was gonna be a biff in this one, but then I realized because I went back and watched the second one that there's a cowboy biff in this one because he talked about him when he first got rich. They had a little um a little flashback thing. So I'm I'm really excited to see. I'm more excited to see what Biff want to do than anything about them having to get Doc and Marty or back to the future, back to the past, to the future. Y'all know what I'm saying. I'm I'm here to see the goat of villains, Biff. I'm super excited to get into this. So before we get into it, I need y'all to do me a favor. I need y'all hit that like and subscribe for me. Also, don't forget that bell notification so you be reminded when we drop new things. Um, also down in the description, it's a link to the Patreon. Over there, you get early access to my full-length YouTube videos. You get access to exclusive TV shows and um, exclusive movies over there. You also get access to the Patreon polls. With that being said, i like to give a shout-out to our VIPs. That's Leslie Trey, John Harold, Becca June, the beautiful doll Missy, Robin Big Al, Jonathan Patrick, Simon X, Cody Stoudemire, Lost Opportunity, Paul Sawicki, Ready B. Olsen, Adam and Arondo, Big Frank, Echo, Naran, TJ Gingler, Kevin Riley, Red Tail Z, Thomas E. Johnson Jr., Steve McCluzo, Kyle Carson, Garrett, Nicholas Jenkins, and the Brandis. I want to thank y'all for being VIPs. I want to thank the rest of the family for being um being here as well. I want to tell you one thing about one of our sponsors, Lee Family Sense. They asked me what was my favorite um Marvel superhero. I told them Black Panther. And they said, we got a surprise for you. Well, lo and behold, they sent me something. They sent me a Black Panther wax warmer. You plug them up and put the little wax in them. And you have your, everything smelling good. They sent me one of those. And they also sent me the little buddy to go with it. Um, this is like a stuffed animal that goes with it. I didn't want to take this out the box and put it on the bed because he might chew it. <laughs> and I can't have that. But I want to give a shout out to Lee Family Sense for the amazing Black Panther things. They sent us a baby Yoda wax warmer that we will be doing a giveaway for. So that's just something that's what um, that's what I got for. I just want to give a shout out to Lee Family Sets for the amazing gifts. Head over to Lee Family Sets. Get your own Black Panther. They got also got Harry Potter and more traditional um items as well. Tell them Jay the co pilot sent you. Like I said, I'm ready to get in this movie. So I'll see you on the other side. Let's get it. Yeah, I gotta turn that down. That's sh That's still dope. Every time I see that, I think that's, that's dope. For the fire just leave the trail like that. Like, his, you know, his mind is blown right now. What he just accomplished. Then he about to see Marty again. Like, you know his mind is blown. Great. Like, this has been a Harry Potter. This has been a Back to, like, Back to the Future. Back from the Future. Yeah, Back to the Future, Back from the Future. That would have been the subtitle. Or the... Y'all know what I'm talking about. That I had Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Y'all know what I'm saying. Look at that Batman car. That makes me sad seeing that car, honestly. I, I told y'all before, those kind of cars made me think about Batman the Animated Series 
And Kevin Conroy just died. <laughs> Woo! Excuse me. That hurt. Yeah. I'm sorry, baby. Oh, I bet. I bet that looked horrible on camera. Did I spit? Oh, my God. And that's dope as hell. Baby Einstein. So how the f*** they gonna get him back to the past? Well, not back to the past, but to the past. How did I do these times? I heard how you do this. I didn't know that was real. I can't recall what happened. In fact, I don't even remember how I got home. Perhaps the gigawatt discharge coupled with a temporal displacement field generated by the time vehicle. Oh, you passed out. That's why you don't remember. I'm sitting here wondering how you got home, too. I was like, why would you not remember? Undoubtedly, this was some sort of a image. Ah! <laughs> oh, he forgot he was there. And you know what I just noticed? Christopher Lloyd is Fester Adams, ain't he? And it's Fester Adams. I have buried the DeLorean in the abandoned Delgado mine adjacent to the old Boot Hill Cemetery as shown on the enclosed map. It should remain undisturbed and preserved until you uncover it in 1955. Hey. Should have no problem repairing it so that you can drive it back to the future. Hey, that's it. They got, they got. Do not attempt to come back here to get me. Hey, he got a long game, don't he? That's a hell of a plan. And so, Marty, I now say farewell and wish you Godspeed. You've been a good, kind, and loyal friend to me. And this dog start playing chess. Oh, it's all right, Copernicus. Everything's going to be fine. Damn, that's not our style. I just thought about that. That's 30 years. That dog ain't going to be alive. All right, according to this, the time vehicle sealed off in a side time. We may have to blast. <laughs> Shut up. Take this camera. I want to document everything. Hey, that's so cute. Shut the fuck up. No wonder this circuit failed. It says made in Japan. What do you mean, Doc? All the best stuff is made in Japan. Unbelievable. And now, knowing I'm going to spend my future in the past, sounds like a wonderful way to spend my retirement years. That's a wild sentence. Pernicus! Come on, boy! I'll get him, Doc. Pernicus! Pernicus, come on, let's go home. Hey, nothing better happen to this dog. What's wrong, Pernicus? Come on. Come on, let's go home. Come on. Doc! Doc! Come here! Shut the f up. Erected in eternal memory by his beloved Clara. Who the hell is Clara? Didn't I say shot in the back? Shot in the back by Buford Tannen over a matter of $80. The GOAT. What kind of a future do you call that? The GOAT. Buford Tannen was a notorious gunman whose short temper and a tendency to drool earned him the nickname Mad Dog. Biff is the GOAT. It is me who goes back there. Get shot. After you fix the time circuits and put new tires on the DeLorean, I'm going back to 1885 and I'm bringing you home. I mean, do you really need tires? I mean, because it flies. Of course! Haven't you ever seen a Western? Yeah, I have, Doc. And Clint Eastwood never wore anything like this. Shut the f up. He looked like a bottle of Pepto Bismol. Remember where you're going? There are no roads. And there's a small cave over there, which will be a perfect place to hide the time vehicle. So, all right. You can't, like, time travel and pass and go, like, to a different location, can you? You just have to pop up at where you was. If I drive straight towards the screen, I'm going to crash into those Indians. Marty, you'll instantly be transported to 1885, and those Indians won't even be there. Right. Well, they done bootlegged the DeLorean. Indian! Out of 
kept driving. Like, what was they chasing before he got there? I was like, they just out riding. He looked like a new fool. Oh, they was being chased. Oh, that turned out way worse than I thought. That's about to be a gang of murders. What is he leaking? Damn, I ripped the fuel line. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah! Yeah, he got me. I passed clean the fuck out. He might not he might not have got me because I'd have do it on myself on the way down. Mm. Maggie, fetch some water. We got a hard spot here. Shut the f up. Well, you're safe and sound here now at the McFly Farm. McFly Farm? Ah! Well, you're my. Hey. That's creepy. Maggie McFly. McFly? Maggie McFly. And what might your name be, sir? Well, it's Mc... Uh, Clint... Clint Eastwood? Well, you hit your head, Mr. Eastwood. Not too serious, but lucky for you, Seamus found you when he did. What kind of accent is that? I like it, though. It don't matter. I like it. Oh, it's okay, Will. It's okay. Did he check to see if he had pants on? Because he know his mama a dick grabber. This here is Mr. Clint Eastwood here. Visit him. <gasps> So McFly, is that like Irish or is that Scottish? What is that? Would you like some water? Uh, yeah. Um, I'm not drinking that. So he um got the same technically. Well, I guess that's not his mom right now. So you know, it's just weird seeing his mom. I'm not gonna think about it. I'm just gonna live in the moment. I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm living in the moment. So you're my great grandfather, first McFly born in America. And he just pissed on you. And you peed on me. I like that hat. Hill Valley. It don't look like Detroit no more. That's two days before the murder. That's the clock tower. Look, I'm going for yeah! Scared the shit out of me. Is that horse? Was that a drive by? Look and see what just breezed in the door. Why, I didn't know the circus was in town. Must have got that shirt off on a dead Chinese. Hear his voice. I don't know what he said. He said you got that off a of dead Chinese. In here. We pour whiskey. This is my first shot today with my left hand. Hey, you see that? I'm trying to find the blacksmith. Hey, McFly! Thought I done told you never to come in. Hey, you ain't Seamus McFly. You look like a no. Especially wear that dog ugly hat. <laughs> I like that. You kin to that, hey, Barber? Is the Phantom in this? Eastwood. Clint Eastwood. What kind of stupid name is that? <laughs> Take a gander at them moccasins. What kind of skins is them? That motherfucker said the moccasins. You mad dog Tannen. Mad dog. 
I hate that name. I hate it. You hear? Nobody calls me Mad Dog. Hey, Biff look like he's saying. Especially not some dooted up egg sucking gutter trash. <laughs> dooted up egg sucking gutter trash. I'm about to be on it. You can dance, <laughs> not the moonwalk. Yeah. Woo! That's gross. Hey, shoot him for real. I know he's a good guy, but still, shoot him. You got to. You better run, squirrel. He said, You better run, squirrel. Biff been on his ass for 100 years. <laughs> You better bob, bob and weave. You know that hurt. You know that hurt like hell. High time we had a This doc? Oh, it has to be. He got a scope. They'll shoot the fleas off a dog's back at 500 yards, Stannon. And it pointed straight at your head. Then shoot him. I know I said two murders in two minutes. Don't worry about me. You better be looking behind you when you walk. Because one day you're going to get a bullet in your back. Hey, sniper! Right now. Doc. Marty. I gave you explicit instructions not to come here, but to go directly back to 1985. I mean, what cartoon character got a hat like that? Quick draw, me draw. Is that what that kind of hat he got? He got a quick draw, me draw hat, don't he? And who's this beloved Clara? I don't know anyone named Clara. I don't know, Doc. Oh, so he made a chick in a, in a, in two days? Do you remember last week at the town meeting when you volunteered to meet the new school teacher at the station when she came in? Oh, yes, quite so. Well, we just got word she's coming in tomorrow. Also, he meet her and pimp her in one day. Her name's Miss Clayton. Clara Clayton. Shut the f*** up. It's impossible. The idea that I could fall in love at first sight. You meet the right girl, it just hits you. It's like lightning. Hey, love f*** you up. That's the way it was me and Jennifer. God, Jennifer, damn, I hope she's all right, Doc. I can't believe we just left her there on the porch. Y'all left her in Detroit on the porch sleep. It wasn't even the real Jennifer. It was stunt double Jennifer. It was the great value Jennifer. All the way to the right. Yeah, put it all the way around. Okay, let's go. Ice tea? Shut the f*** up. All that was going on for one. he would be doing the most, I swear to you. We're going to have to patch it up and get some gas. You mean we're out of gas? I'm out of gasoline. We can't get the DeLorean up to 88 miles per hour. Shut the f*** up. Shut the f*** up. I can't believe they even tried that. Give him more gas! Hey, your car dropped something. It'll take me a month to rebuild it. A month? Doc, you're gonna get shot on Monday! No, I know, I know! I wish... Wait... Why don't we just pay him this eighty dollars? We know it won't run under its own power. We know we can't pull it. But if we could figure out a way to push it up to eighty-eight miles an hour, that that sounds crazy. Well, Doc, we can scratch that idea. Not the f up. 
the bridge will exist in 1985. It's safe and still in use. As long as we get the DeLorean up to 88 miles an hour before we hit the edge of the ravine. Hey, Doc got a suicide wish. This is the second thing he done that's suicidal. He, he want to drive off the edge hoping we get to 88. And then in the first one, he, he was standing in front of the car hoping that when it hit 88, it went back in the time. He didn't know. It was the first test. Is this Clara? Hey, he owned it, though. I can't believe this is Fester Adams. I didn't know this shit. I'm a brown at your service, miss. Um. So. Um. Clayton. Did this happen before? Because he wouldn't have met her if the situation like that had. Well, at least not like this. Well, he was going to meet her anyway, wasn't it? That's right, he was going to meet her anyway, so. Never mind. May I help you inside with these? Oh, no. And can you imagine if you had to pee real bad and you had all that shit on? She says it's fine. We gotta get going. Ma'am, good luck with your school teaching and everything. Hey, he is in love. I will see you again, won't I? Of course. You'll see lots of me, I'm sure. Shoot and shoot. Hey, Doc. We gotta get going. Oh, yes. Mario or a cock blocking his what do you mean you can be seeing lots of her, Doc? Well, I might see her again just in passing. Doc said he tried to tear that buddy. Oh, s. I wish I'd never invented that infernal time machine. It's caused nothing but disaster. My man found love and said nothing but disaster. What does this mean? Point of no return. That's our fail safe point. Up until there, we still have enough time to stop the locomotive before it plunges into the ravine. But once we pass this windmill, it's the future or bust. <laughs> 1885 ain't that bad. <laughs> we just need a brittle. What the f*** are a brittle? To make the water clear? We just need one of them. It couldn't be simpler. Hello? And your girl at the door. It's Clara. She thinks she's trying to turn that buddy. Well, I hope I'm not disturbing anything. Oh, no, no. We were just doing a little model railroad. Shoot and shoot. My telescope was damaged, and I thought you might be able to repair it for me. I, I would pay you, of oh, course. No, no, no. I wouldn't think of charging you for this. Well, let's have a look at it. Hey, my man is smitten. <clears throat> Stop cock blocking, sh Go sit your ass in the corner. Thank you for taking care of my telescope. You're quite welcome. I yelled it like that. Three, two, one. That's a festivity to you. Oh, them fireworks. I thought they up. Hey, <laughs> I didn't know they had fireworks back then. Yeah. It's just like Hillbilly days. Except cleaner. I can't spin the circle like they do got me in the chair. They don't want to see me. I get out there for him like Hey, 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 Boy. Hey, bro, you don't know what, hey, you don't know about Doc. Son. Boy, you leave me alone. Are you, are you sure that blacksmith's gonna beat this here shindig? Sure he's here. Don't Biff just look like he smell like the pressure and just dumpster juice? <laughs> Who's gonna make this tenderfoot? You? I am. 
Marshal Strickland. I didn't know you was back in town. If you can't read the sign, Tannen, I presume you can read this. Oh, sh ain't that the, um, that's your boy that be like, um, you slackers. I'm at with Detroit Ready. The only party I'll be smiling at is the one that sees you at the end of a rope. But don't we shoot him there? That's how you handle him, son. Never give him an inch and maintain discipline at all times. Remember that word. Discipline. I will, Paul. Oh, that explains a lot. Hey, Doc, get it, ain't he? There he is, Buford. Where? Over there. Dancing with that piece of calico. That piece of what? Careful, Buford. You ain't got but one bullet with that. I only need one. What the f is that? You can't die by getting shot by that. You better not die getting shot by that. You. Hey, lighten up, jerk. I'm telling you, I bet you can smell this breath. About a hundred yards, I'm telling you. Oh, what's wrong, dude? You yell up. Oh, my God. Nobody calls me yellow. Let's finish it right now. Not now, Buford. Uh, Marshall's got our guns. Like I said, we'll finish this tomorrow. Tomorrow, we're robbing the Pine City stage. Oh, Monday, we're doing anything Monday. No, Monday, be fine. You can kill him on Monday. I'll be back this way on Monday. I like a villain with priorities. <laughs> I do my killing before breakfast. Seven o'clock. You can't make it on breakfast? Why? Break it up. Any brawling, it's 15 days in the county jail. 15 days? If you ain't here, I'll hunt you and shoot you down like a duck. It's dog, Buford. Shoot him down like a dog. Let's go, boys! Oh, he gonna crown his horse. I want everybody to know that the gun that shot Buford Tannen was a Colt. Peacemaker! Hey, hey, no problem. Thanks a lot. Uh, of course, uh, you understand that if you lose, I'm taking it back. If he loses, he's dead. What does it matter? The one that's out there all by itself like a starburst? Uh-huh. That one's called Copernicus. You got like a starburst? What flavors they had back then? I never, ever met a man like you before. Oh, here, trying that butter. Oh, it was a comet. Y'all see that? I see that you, I come to shooting stars. You see that? What is that? I want some scrambled eggs now. I love breakfast. Breakfast is my favorite thing ever. Doc. Other than pizza. You got your ass hanging out, man. Doc. Doc churning butter, bro. I mean, you can't you can't have a gun on you with your ass hanging out. Never mind. I guess that would take away from all thugs walking around right now, wouldn't it? What are you doing? Oh, nothing. I'm just out enjoying the morning air. It's really lovely here in the morning, don't you think? Yeah, it's lovely, Doc. Listen, we get a load the DeLorean up. The doctor busted a hundred year nut. You know he feels light on his feet today. I've made a decision. Uh -huh. I'm not going with you tomorrow. I knew it. I'm staying here. What are you talking about, Doc? I'm in love with Clara. Oh, man. Doc, we don't belong here. He, he got that snapper. He on. I have to live my life according to what I believe is right. In my heart. So you tell me, what's the right thing to do up here? Marty, quit hating, bro. He in love. Just because you left your girl in Detroit, don't mean he got to do the same thing. Doc. Listen, I don't know. Maybe we can just take Clara with us. To the future? You know, I would love for them to get back to the future and his girlfriend be a whole different person. Just have a whole different actor for each movie. I've come to say goodbye. Goodbye? Well, where are you going? Well, I'm afraid I'll never see you again. Hey, Doc got a big-ass forehead. Wherever you go and take me with you. 
Take her. I can't, Claire. Take her. I wish it didn't have to be this way, but just believe me when I tell you that I'll never forget you. And that I love you. If, if you sincerely do love me, then tell me the truth. All right, then. I'm from the future. I came here in a time machine that I invented. And tomorrow I have to go back to the year 1985. Did you go know that crazy? Oh, I've heard some whoppers in my day, but the fact that you'd expect me to entertain a notion like that is so insulting and degrading. Hey, you know, that took a turn. I'm telling you, that took a turn way different than what I thought. I thought she was going to be crazy be like, I believe you. I still want to go. Like, I feel bad for her with the way she fell on that bed. It was a little overdramatic. It reminded me of a little kid. Whiskey, Chester. Whiskey. Emmett, are you sure you know what happened to you on the 4th of July? Risky. What happened on the 4th? Okay, I ain't your papa. What happened on the 4th? It's a war, right? Mind your business. I have seen that look on a man's face a thousand times all across the country. I might have an ingrown toenail, you don't know. Clara is one in a million. One in a billion. One in a Googleplex. The f is a Googleplex? I got me a run to get. Still early, boss. You hurry. He said he killed before breakfast. And in the future. He's still drinking. We have motorized carriages called automobiles. How much has he had? None. That's the first one. He hadn't touched it yet. Oh, shut the f up. What the f happened? Come on, Doc. Wake up. Wake up, Doc. There's a fella that can't hold his liquor. Is that what happens? Oh, he a weak body. Oh, this both died. San Francisco is the end of the line. Shut the f up. She leaving? I'll take a one-way ticket. Oh, Doc, you done hurt her feelings. You done broke her heart. Joey! Let's make some wake-up juice. In about 10 minutes, he's going to be as sober as a priest on Sunday. The f*** is this? Go ahead and pour it on down his gut. What is that? What is that, V8 juice? Why they pour paste pecani sauce down his throat? Let's go, Doc. Let's wake up now, buddy. Come on. Huh? Somebody about to get shot. Are you in there, Eastwood? Hey, he's kind of dressed like Eastwood, ain't he? Ain't that what Eastwood wears? It's not 8 o'clock yet. It is by my watch. I'm not really feeling up to this today. So I'm going to have to forfeit. Forfeit! What's that mean? You win without a fight. Without shooting? You can't do that. Hey, you can't do that! I think you ain't nothing but a gutless yellow turd. And I'm giving you to the count of ten to come out here and prove I'm wrong. This shit over there! You better face up to it, son, because if you don't go out there... What? Everybody everywhere will say Clint Eastwood is the biggest yellow belly in the West. Oh, they, they don't know who that is, do they? I said that ten, you gutless yellow pie slinger! Yellow pie slinger? Listen, you got a back door to this place? Yeah, it's in the back. Let's go, Doc. Are you coming out here? Yeah, it's in the back. <laughs> but if you're just too damn yellow, I guess it'll just have to be a blacksmith. Man, every time he say yellow, man, you can just hear that motherfucker just that nastiness come up from his stomach off his tongue and just stank. I've never seen a man so broken up over a woman. What did you say her name was? Kara? Sarah? Clara. Clara. 
But was this man tall, with great big brown puppy dog eyes and long silvery flowing hair? You know him. She ain't about to tuck and roll off this train, is she? Him. Oh, I didn't, I didn't know you could stop the train. I thought she was about to do a combat roll off the train. Right here, Tannen. Is he going to shoot Biff? <laughs> this looks stupid. Are he tripping? I thought we could settle this like men. You thought wrong, dude. Stupid. Uh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I'll give a what y'all tell me. Biff the goat. <gasps> oh, he did what? Um, he did what Clint, Clint Eastwood did in um Part Two: Back to the Future. Hey, he busted Biff's ass, didn't he? <laughs> Is that horse? <laughs> he got <laughs> on every movie. Get him out of that shit. <laughs> Get him! <laughs> Get him out of that shit. <laughs> you for Tannen? Oh. You're under a look at this shit. You got anything to say? That's an nasty. I hate Manoir. Oh my god. It's all on his face, man. Oh no. <laughs> you late? Hey, Doc Brown, a bad man on a horse. Marty ain't got no coordination. Hey, she nice on a horse, too. Be none of this. None. I love that sound. So are they gonna hit the DeLorean on full speed? Or are they just gonna creep up on it? Do the train have reverse? This the Hogwarts Express. Knock your girl coming. They had to do something nasty to each other that first night. <laughs> Woo! Hey, they are doing some wild shit for somebody they just met. Well, she is. I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm just gonna live in the moment. You you just climbed on the back. Girl, you better bring your ass on. Keep going, Oh, y'all ain't gonna make it. Oh, fuck up. Oh, y'all about to be dead. Oh, they're running out of time. She's running out of dress. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Shut the f up. Oh, oh, There's no way in he can grab her and make it back to the car. Well, what the f do I know?
Oh, he just took off. He didn't, he didn't even come back. <laughs> hey, my other reporter just bounced like that. Hey, my man said, F me, though. He, he just got her to go. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. I don't want to talk about it. So how are you going to go back and get done? Like, are we able to go back and get done? Are we back in Detroit? Oh, bro, how you gonna explain that hoverboard to her? Is it somebody different? Please let it be somebody different. Jennifer. Hey, you know how you know nobody doesn't give a about Jennifer? Her parents or nobody checked on her. They just left her ass out there on the swing. She don't know who she kissing. Hey, Needles. Nice set of wheel. So, okay, I can see now that it's Flea. Y'all said in the second one that was Flea. I can't tell. <laughs> that was unnecessary. That's the accident. I would have hit that Rolls Royce. That's the accident. Shut up. Stop! Party! Yeah, that's all for this. Party! It runs on Steve! This motherfucker built a time train. These are our boys. Boys? Jules and Vern. Bro, I've been gone 30 minutes. What are you talking about? Oh, I brought you a little souvenir. Is it the original picture? Shut the f up. Your future hasn't been written yet. No one's has. Your future is whatever you make it. So make it a good one. I feel like there's a message in that. <laughs> That's dope as f My man was whipping a train. He had a train like, uh. Draco, you missed the movie. All right. We just got fans watching Back to the Future 3. That should go hard. Listen. I don't even know what to say about this one. I really enjoyed this one a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. Like, I can't tell you which one I like more than the other one right now. I'm going to have to sit down and actually watch all three of them back to back or something. But I loved how they took one crew of people and made three films in three different places. And they are all magical. Doc and Biff are the highlights of this series for me. I'm assuming people like them like I do. But to me, Biff is the GOAT. I told you all through this movie, Biff is the GOAT. You you can't make an argument to me that there's, there's a better villain out there. The only thing Biff didn't do is eat somebody like him. I'm telling you, Biff's the GOAT. This franchise has been amazing. It's probably the most fun I've had watching a series in a while. I had fun watching Harry Potter like this. This is just, this is a different scale. Like, they both match going their own way. But this, like this is a little different scale. I just <laughs> it's so many great moments throughout these movies, man. The way that everything ties together. I don't know. I I love the fact they went back to the West. I love the fact that Biff was Biff. I'm happy that Doc found love. My man had two kids quick because, like I said, Marty was only gone for thirty minutes. 
Um, Marty's girl should break up with him because he left her in Detroit. Man, there's just so many good moments in this movie, man. So many good moments in the series. I'm happy with the film. Like, I don't feel cheated in no way in any in any form or fashion. I don't feel like they gave me a bullshit ending just for the sake of giving me an ending. I'm very satisfied. I'm very happy with the series. I really am. I hope y'all enjoyed watching this with me because I enjoy watching with you. Hit that like and subscribe for me. Don't forget that bell notification. Head over to the Patreon. Check that out. Don't forget to head over to Lee Family Sense. Check them out. Y'all be good. Y'all be safe. Talk to me, Romulus. Night-night! <laughs>